welcome back to my channel for another G-Shock tutorial video. So for today, I'm going to unboxing and reviewing this new model of GWG-2000-183. So this is the new uh, version 3 of Mudmaster. So let's not prolong it any longer. And before we get started, just make sure you subscribe to the channel just by clicking the red button down there so you can keep up to date with what's happening. So what are we waiting for? Let's G! Okay now, so this is the watch. This is the model of the watch, GWG-2000-180DR. Okay now, so let's open it guys. So this is the manual book all module number 5678. It's a manual booklet guide. So this is the international warranty card. One year coverage battery and machine. International warranty regulation. So this is the all the business partner of G-Shop all over the world guys. So you can see here. So this is our company. Wait, Al Battle Brothers Establishment. So that's a. This is the authorized dealer here in Kuwait. Mudmaster. Now this is the watch. Okay. Okay now guys, so this is the uh, new collection or latest model of Mudmaster, GWG2000. So look at the watch. Specifications, case bezel material, resin, stainless steel carbon fiber, so this is resin, stainless steel and carbon fiber. Resin band. Neo bright screw lock crown carbon core guard structure so this is the carbon core guard structure mud resistant shock resistant sapphire crystal with layer resistant coating so this is sapphire scratch proof gray Aeon plated bezel and 200 meters water resistance. Size of case 61.2 lug to lug from here to here 54.4 size of the case diameter from here to here. 16.1 millimeters the thickness of the watch total weight is 106 grams so other features you can see on your screen
Okay now, so let's take a look at the watch back of the case. So you can see the uh, label buttons here. Engraving Casio Top Solar Carbon Core Guard Sapphire Crystal. So water resist, 200 meters water resistant. Japan Movement Case in Thailand, guys. So this is the underwing band. The purpose of this is to be more fit on your wrist. Okay, now let's go to buckle. So the buckle is stainless steel. Engraving Casio Thailand. So the loop is resin. Now let's take a look in front of the watch guys. Okay, so let's start from the buttons. So you can see guys, all the version of Modmaster, it has a different uh, unique design for the buttons. So you can see here, solid stainless steel. For the crown. It has unique uh, design for the crown button and also the light button. Okay, so this is the carbon fiber, so you can see the details of carbon fiber with the uh, gray and black so this is the EU plated black look at the finishing product of steel EU plated So it has four screws in the front and the sensor, look at the sensor, it's a carbon fiber also. So on the screen, you can see the numbers. So this is the analog hand and second hand and this uh, yellow arrow is indicator for barometer, temperature, stopwatch, alarm, timer and below this is the negative uh, digital you can uh, set to hour and also date, months, and day. So, I mean, this is the countries, guys. Okay. So, on the band, so forge carbon. It means uh, new added material of the watch forged carbon and below he written here the yellow is mud resist triple sensor multiband 6 tough solar okay so triple sensor um, compass temperature barometer and altimeter multiband 6 so uh, six countries you can set manually receiving time that is multiband six 
So the the watch itself has a radio control. So once the radio control uh, received the atomic clock, so you can manually auto timing. So guys, uh, multiband six it works only in selected countries like uh, Europe, America. China and Japan okay guys so so this is Madmaster wave scepter as I said earlier so radio control multi-region Japan USA Europe and most of China top solar it means it will charge sunlight and light so the battery lifespan is up to 10 years okay so this is shock resistant, mud resistant, 200 meters water resistant. So this is the new triple sensor version 3, compass thermometer, altimeter, and barometer. So sapphire crystal, 1 to 100 second, stopwatch, world time, and super illuminator, guys. Okay. So now, let's go to the buttons. So we have five buttons here. So two from my left side, uh, two from my right side, and below is one button. So this button is for this is the normal timekeeping or normal display configuration. So this button is for changing the digital uh, display configuration. You can see the day, the months, and the day. So this is the graph of barometer, uh, months and date, so digital hour, so day, months and date, okay so now this mode button, barometer, temperature, recall, stopwatch timer alarm world time recall so normal display configuration so barometer is for air pressure temperature so temperature outside the house so temperature outside the house Recall, so a stopwatch, 1 to 100 second stopwatch. Timer, so you can set timer like 1 minute below to 0. Alarm, so how many alarms we have? 5 alarms. World time, so it has 49 countries you can see here. Time of other countries, guys. And recall. So this button is compass. You can see the digital compass there. And also the second hand is moving. North, north east, east, north east. And this button is altimeter. So when you climbing the mountain this is the meter for the heights and the last button is for changing the time the crown just make counterclockwise and then pull so it's very easy to adjust the time so you can see all the countries here for example like um, Dubai so that is the and then uh, press the button and clockwise to make it tighten the ground so this is Dubai time now guys 
Okay, so let's try this on my wrist. the watch guys very wow it's cool so date release of this watch last October 18 2021 so the price of the watch is 800 US dollars if we convert in Philippine money is 39,600 pesos guys So that is it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something from our video and if yes, please comment down below, give thumbs up, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next vlog guys.